What is up, goons, gangsters, and gamers? It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight. Today, looking fresh, but incredibly hot and sweaty, because it is, uh, it is getting humid. So, today's review is a bit of a little special. I can't really do a lot outside or anything, so we're going to be filming the majority of this indoors until this pandemic gets better. I actually get a chance to get out there and do some filming, but we're looking at the uh, EOTech G33, and of equal significance, the Unity risers being used with our EOTech EXPS 3 tac 0 So, what we basically got going on is we're lifting these items up off the rifle. I'm sure many of you have seen these before. There's other companies also making their own little riders, ri ah, risers and stuff, but this is relatively um, interesting because it covers a sort of an interesting niche that I particularly care for, which is being able to have unlimited eye relief so you can get your EOTech going with your site easily accessible and holographic site, easy to find, easy to see, and no like crazy distortion, but you also get that 3x, 3.5x magnification from using the riser with the magnifier, but a key issue with the magnifier is there is an eye relief, there is concern, so if you're too far back or forward or to the side, you're not going to get a clean picture, or really anything at all, as I'm going to be demonstrating very soon with this camera. So. Key thing, um, the riser is neat. It is a flip to center, whereas the original is a flip to side, either right or left, depending on your preference. If you're a left-handed shooter, you're generally going to want to go left. When you want going right with the right-handed shooter, if you're normal-handed like me, um, having it flip off to the right gets it out of your way, because everything on the left side of your gun is a snag hazard for your own plate carrier and gear. So having thing off to the right or to the center basically solves that issue. So. This thing pops up like so, pops down like so, and easy peasy. So let's talk about the basis for the G33 first. And we got the little mount down here. For uh, legal reasons, all the uh, firearms in this video are airsoft, so, you know, overused boating accident excuse, what have you. So the basic riser base is this little flip to side mount, and it's actually very beefy. When you get in there, usually it's easier to flip with the actual side on there, but it flips with some force. So it's actually going to ki uh, kick the gun just a wee bit off to the side when you're moving this in and out. Not crazy, but a wee bit. So nice and loud. There is a mount here, as you can see, it mounts into the bottom, and then you got your turrets on the top. And I want to say you got the top and the right is where the turrets for adjustment is. And uh, yeah, so really simple. This one's got the uh, quick attachment uh, little mount here. So depress that and you can pop this free. And yeah, easy peasy. And on top of that, you've got this riser that basically gets it set up if you're using it with the uh, EXPS uh, site, the holographic sites like I'm doing. Some of the other ones don't need it, so you can actually take this out and have it sit a bit low, lower so you can use other stuff like that. So that's basically the standard mount that that comes on. Now, of course, on our setup here with the Unity riser, you will notice, well, one, it uses these hex screws as opposed to the standard screws that's on the other one, and it mounts practically upside down. Now, interesting component is the uh, release lever is actually backwards, it's forward facing. So you would think, hey, isn't that a bit of a snack hazard? And well, yes, technically, but the issue is with the optic being upside down and canted, this turret is now up here, so you can't have the thing up on the turret. You'd get in the way of popping it free when it's up. So you can see it's upside down. The Turret's on the left side instead of the right. And yeah, pretty uh, interesting there. So another issue with the turret is um, I find, for me personally, at least with this setup, is when it is down, that turret is right up on that rail space, which means putting back up iron sights here is a huge pain because it's not gonna lock in place. It's gonna sit semi-elevated and block the natural view. Natural view being like this. Actually, I did this sideways earlier. It worked really well. If you go sideways here, just, uh, just, yeah, there we go. You can get a nice little sight of the dot sight, and when you pop up the magnifier, you can see there's that eye relief thing I was talking about. It's not as bad in person, it's mostly the camera, but yeah, let's see, come on, this one looked a lot easier. Yeah, you get that nice little zoom in effect. It makes it a lot easier to engage targets and whatnot. Come on. But yeah, if you're not getting that proper eye relief, if something's in the way, then it could be a bit more troublematic, problematic, especially if it's way too far forward. Whereas alternatively, you can just throw that down and rapidly find your dot and work from there. So, whew, interesting point. 
So the turret is down there, a bit in the way. Nothing too crazy, you can still adjust it, you're just doing everything basically backwards. And uh, yeah, now your EOTech is upside down. But that's all there really is to it. Nothing too crazy, it's still really pristine, clear glass. And uh, yeah, it still works more or less the same. But it looks really, really cool. Now, our key takeaway, the amps, the fancy uh, headset hasn't come back in the mail yet. So for a quick little demonstration, we're going to be using our M50 gas mask. So hats aside, well actually first, due to the insanely hot nature, it's important to remember to stay hydrated or at most to keep that horrible, horrible sobriety at bay. So magazine flask. <sighs> Don't drink and drive everyone. It's water. Uh, no yeats today. That's the value of a dump pouch, baby. Or I could put it back in here, but you know, kind of lazy today. It's the heat. It's making me lethargic. Also, ooh, that's not good. That's not supposed to be there. Uh, so, M50 gas mask. So we got both filters. As you all know, both filters makes it much, much easier to breathe. Oh my God. So, step one mask. Because I'm not soon up, of course, you can barely hear me, so we're going to take our fun little adapter here because I like making life easy. There you go. And now we're nice and loud. Everyone can hear me. It's very easy to breathe with two filters, you know, so we're using two filters. Key thing. That's not there. Let's take that out, actually. Key thing is. The filters do get in the way. Even with the riser, your right filter still can cause problems. If you can't the rifle like this, a bit to the side, you can get it done, and you can still zoom in even with that, with your two filters. It's a bit of a pain, because everything has to be angled. If you got to do anything too crazy, it's not really going to work, so you're going to want to have a laser. Now, alternatively, pop this filter free. Make sure your valve actually closes. If breathing becomes a bit more stressed, but if you're going to be doing shooting now, we can get a proper cheek weld. The riser sets everything up just fine, so we get that good uh, drop sight. And if you gotta shoot at a distance, bam, now we can still engage at range. Which, in the middle of a gas attack, is probably still going to be a huge pain. So, again, always lasers. Now, if I gotta do any sprinting or crazy running and stuff, having one filter is gonna make the breathing a lot more difficult, which is ultimately gonna slow us down, but if we're just like running basic security or we're not expecting to do too many crazy shootings, or everything's close enough to be done with laser, now we can go back to using two filters and making it much, much easier on ourselves to breathe. Of course, it's always good to practice filter swapping so you can get your breath back a lot faster. So, a little bit of practice, I can see it in the camera here, but it's not a terrible skill to practice if you got some free time. But ultimately, that's everything to really take into account with these, with the amps it does with the earplug being right up here, it does make it a lot easier to uh, still shoot with your comms on, your helmet on, all that normal stuff. But yeah, Unity Riser. Really, really sexy stuff, especially if you can get it in the forbidden Field Dark Earth colors. Of course, finding the actual G33 in Field Dark Earth is nay impossible or stupid expensive. So, nothing wrong with black. We can do a little black and brown combination, sort of a uh, mixed baby there. Very nice, very pretty. Then you can go pop, 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 and have fun. Also, this robot voice still gets me a bit of a chub going. It's pretty beautiful. So that's all I got for you guys today. Let me actually take this mask off because um, I'm pretty sure my neighbors can hear me and it's probably going to be bothering them. And we want to be considerate neighbors. So, whew, it's spicy. I like how the M50 never fogs, no matter how hot it gets. Just a pro tip. I'm pretty sure the... Uh, the, goggle, the step and visor I have on my helmet, that was that was starting to get pretty bad fog going, but that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask in the comments down below. It work, It's a lot better if I could get it out to a field, which is very difficult with the pandemic going. But if you can get out to a field, even just like in airsoft range where the target's at a distance, it makes it so much better to get that clean zoom in to get shots, even though airsoft guns struggle to shoot over 50 meters without like crazy upgrades, but it's great. If nothing else, 
you can still use it for scouting. And of course, in the hopefully near future, preferably this year, the goal is to get stateside and to bring all these peripherals with me and uh, go meet up with my brother or one of my buddies and actually get to test them with real steel, which is where the, uh, the good reviews are. So today, unfortunately, just airsoft. But that's what I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and uh, whew, I actually ordered these when they were still relatively weird. IOP Tactical is carrying like a M81 cries now, so if you can find them in stock. It was before April Fool's, I swear. <laughs> so cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, and uh, semper thighs for my yut yuts out there. Cheers.